Hello and welcome to another episode of Step Into Christmas. Today we're going to be creating this look using this palette here is the Glam Light Pizza Veggie Lovers and these are the shades. So yeah it's first time using this. So yeah if you want to see how I created this look using the Glam Light Pizza Veggie Lovers palette then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking Basil, this uh, green here, on just this little fluffy brush from the M -M -M Mitchell set with Morphe. I'm just going to be putting that in my crease and the outer B there. Oh, this really is a pretty colour. This is my first time trying uh, Glam Light shadows. I was very fortunate to get this for my birthday. That is going on beautifully. So I'm sorry it's been uh, a few days since I uploaded anything, um, but I've been really, really struggling with the pain. Um, just feeling really crappy about it. My skin's been really sore um, cause it, it's just flared up so badly. So I really didn't feel like filming and I felt that the quality of the videos would be lacking also because I was really down in the dumps. This colour is so beautiful. I am loving it. Just dragging it out a bit, the edges there. Next I'm going to dip into Olives, um, which is this really nice green up here, um, using a Spectrum A12. It's from the Disney Mickey Mouse set. And I'm going to be placing that like on the edge of this green to blend it out a bit. I'm leaving room above because I am going in with another colour. I am such a sucker for greens, it's unreal. But the good thing about this time of year is green is very Christmassy. That has just blended absolutely beautifully into the other green. Wow. And then I am going to dip into yellow peppers. This one here using um, just a Morphe brush. <laughs> it doesn't say a number on it, sorry. <laughs> and just going over the edges with this. This is really nice. It's kind of like a, a mustardy yellow, which I just think goes with this tone of green so perfectly. This is definitely my kind of colour story. <laughs> so beautiful. I'm just going to go back in and re-intensify all three of those colours. We kind of blended them out a little bit, but it is okay. And back in with the lighter green. It's a really kind of grungy green look we're going for today. I had no idea, I just knew I wanted to play with these greens. They're so beautiful. I'd heard so many people raving about the uh, quality of Glam Light Shadows. And uh, I do have to say, I am not disappointed. They just blend into each other so seamlessly. J 
just really created a beautiful gradient and bringing that mustard yellow just down a bit here just to create a bit of depth in that inner part there so I'm going to dip into a bit of black olives here using my Jessup 230 Luxe pencil and I'm just going to use that to deepen up the outer edges or the outer V I don't want to use too too much I just want it to kind of blend in and just deepen it up which it seems to be doing really well it's very pigmented so you really don't need much at all so I think I'm gonna to have to blend this out with green it's really this is a pigmented black I'm gonna go back in with the dark green and um, basil um, just to make that a bit more green there if I didn't want the black to be black I just wanted to deepen the look there we go yeah, that is one heck of a pigmented black but I'm not complaining hmm yeah I really really like that blend Right, so what I am going to do, I'm going to take a bit of the basil and black olives together just to go on the lower lash line. So just a back and forth dab between the two. Tuck that right in there. And then just going into olives, the mid-toned green. So basically just repeating what we've got on the top lid. Um, just repeating that on the lower lid here. And then finally into yellow peppers, that beautiful mustardy yellow. And just blending out the very edges with that. I really love this colour. It's a very, very beautiful colour and it goes with these greens just absolutely perfectly. So I'm just going to quickly use the NYX Glitter Primer to do a faux cut crease and uh, then we'll carry on with the eyes. Okay, glitter primer on. So I'm going to dip into spinach, this uh, shimmer green here, and using a Zuva 234 Lux Smoky Shader. Just taking it in a diagonal line. Wow, that looks absolutely stunning. Right, what do I want that? All right, next I'm going to go into this caramelized onions uh, using a Zoeva 237 detail shader. And this one I'm going to place next to the green. Staying with that diagonal line there, but leaving room on the inner part for another colour. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm just going to blend it slightly into that green. Then turn the brush over, get a bit of the green and blend that back in. Then I'm going to dip into garlic, which is this goldy yellow shimmer. And I'm using a Jessup 237 detail shader. And I'm just going to be placing that in the part.
part of the lid we left open. Oh, I am really, really happy with that. I am going to dip into using. I'm going to dip back into basil, the darkest green, and just to kind of blend that back in. Okay, so just using that spinach, the shimmer green there I'm just going to place I want some shimmer under here there is no glitter primer under here but I'm not worried about that because I just want just a little hint of the colour just a little bit of sparkle and then into garlic, the yellowy gold shimmer. And I'm just going to place that just on the very inner part here of my lower lash line. Just blend it into that green a little bit. Yeah, I love that. I think it's a very kind of green Christmassy look. Perfect for a Christmas party, I think. Yep, love that. So what I'm going to do is nip off camera, finish my face, and then come back to show you the final look. So don't go anywhere. So this is the finished look. what do you think um i'm really happy with how it came out i think i might have slightly overlined the lips but never mind it's a christmasy look so uh i went in with this blusher confection from my i Heart revolution marshmallow palette and highlighter i used was rodeo drive by ofra Mascara I used was the Barry M That's How I Roll. Um, for black eyeliner I used the Lois Cosmetics Fine Style Liquid Eyeliner. And then I used the Artitude Cosmetics Liner and Lash Adhesive in One. Um, so I used this to do the line and wing. And then I used this just for where I want the uh, lashes to stick to. In my waterline, I use the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Go Green. Not much of a surprise there, is it? <laughs> the lashes I have on are from Artitude Cosmetics in the Style Rebel. I really love these. They're just so big and fluttery. And so easy to apply with the liner. Um, ooh, for lips, <laughs> I used the Essence stay eight hour lip liner waterproof with sharpener in the shade passionate and the lipstick is from makeup by lisa and it's this beautiful red in the shade burlesque i love this this really lasts all day to the point you have to scrub it off i've just had to scrub it off my fingers um so I do have discount codes for both Artitude Cosmetics and Makeup by Lisa. Uh, both are not affiliated. I don't gain anything, but you get a discount. They will be listed in the description box below, um, along with everything I have on my face. Also, the earrings and the necklace I have on are from Amy's Accessories. I will list her details in the description box below also. So this is the final look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Let's have a chat. And so yeah, that is it from me for today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening and taking care of yourselves. So I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.